Good afternoon. I'm Mallory Anderson. We have breaking news. President Donald Trump is holding his first press conference since the U.S. Senate acquitted him on two articles of impeachment. We begin this morning continuing to track breaking news out of Washington. Overnight, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump say they have both tested positive for COVID-19. This breaking announcement obviously throws into question what will happen over the next few weeks with the presidential election about a month away. News 10's Kellen Buddy was live on Facebook during the protest and he's outside the Capitol now. Kellen, are things back to normal yet? Doesn't sound like it. A Michigan restaurant loses thousands of dollars in sales after a bus boy lies about having COVID-19 just so he could get the day off. A report out today says former Governor Rick Snyder not only knew about the Flint water crisis more than a year earlier than he said, but also worked to cover it up. Michigan's Unemployment Insurance Agency is asking people who received duplicate payments to give that money back voluntarily. Bingham County Health Department says the coronavirus outbreak in East Lansing is turning into a crisis. Marion County Sheriff Billy Woods insists there's no conclusive evidence that wearing masks curbs the spread of the virus, despite explicit CDC guidelines saying just that. A judge has blocked Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson's attempt to ban openly carrying guns at polling places in Michigan. News 10 Spencer Soicher joins us now and Spencer, the attorney general says she's going to appeal this, right? Yeah, it's been great working with two of you, the rest of you, sayonara. Strong words there from the now former East Lansing Mayor Ruth Byer during Tuesday night's council meeting. Byer and longtime council member and former mayor Mark Meadows stepped down during that meeting. Unbelievable video of a van being swallowed by a sinkhole in Los Angeles. You can see it there on your screen. This morning, things are still kind of a mess, but the cleanup has already started. We're alive at the police department right now, where the window behind me, the door's windows, have been completely shattered, and someone's already cleaning up a lot of that broken glass. Michigan is not alone in this nope. bad winter weather. Nearly 90 million people across the country are in some sort of watch, warning, or advisory. Check out the conditions in Nevada this morning. So Kelly, can you kind of touch on obviously uh, blood donations is something that we're trying to sign up people for today, but how else can someone give back if they can't donate blood? Andy, I can't help but think it's January. A lot of rain like this does not happen very often. I can't help but wonder what would this look like if it was snow and not rain? Hey, if my bosses are watching right now. You can't ever say that I didn't give my blood, sweat, and tears to this job. Whipple decided to check in on the burger this week and found it pretty much the same. He says only the pickle has deteriorated. <laughs> oh, that is nasty, but I'll still eat McDonald's. <laughs> all right, as if there wasn't enough going on all around the world right now, we got monkeys on the loose. 70 monkeys were able to escape from their enclosure at a zoo in Japan. A computer glitch is to blame for inundating an Ohio man with thousands of copies of the same exact letter. You know, I think that's what they call my spirit animal, Andy. <laughs> I can relate to that. Not exactly dude. hot and ready, but I uh, <laughs> hope he tipped the driver anyways. That's true. He <laughs> ate it for an hour. That I is would, impressive. Could you imagine if you could make one slice last an hour? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be good. Good morning at 630 on this Monday. Tuesday. <laughs> Do not <laughs> no, put that evil on us. <laughs> it feels like a total Monday over here. Want to stay in the freshest LA mansion? <laughs> I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how you can spend the night, like the Prince of Bel-Air. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. Well, anyway, starting in September, 